Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dan. I'm Anthony. And this is Jim Beam 7. Ooh. Jim Beam 7, you say? Yeah. Jim Beam 7. I'm excited about this one. We pulled this one out of Kentucky in our bourbon hall. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link below. Um, we pulled a lot of really cool stuff out of Kentucky, but now we're talking about Jim Beam Black. This is a seven year age stated product from Beam. They've, they've taken Black Label to the next level. Yeah. They've increased the proof. They've given it an age statement. And today we're gonna open it. We're gonna do all the things. We're gonna taste it, look at it. If I can find the perforation. Right here. A little. <laughs> it tried. Failure. Oh, I see what it's doing. I see what it's doing. They want you to keep the neck tag. Or at least try to. Yeah. Good on you, Jim Beam. Not wanting us to have just a blank neck there. You know, whatever. Anyway. There, you do the honors. Pause for screw top noises. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yep. was sad. Yeah, still got a screw top on it, but you know, you can't. And it comes in at a very reasonable <laughs> price. So I paid $24.99 for this. We found it, you bought it for $21.99? Yeah, $21.99 at one of the other places we stopped on so that awesome little journey. He found his at Cox's. I found mine, oh, we, we didn't mention Toddy's. Overpriced, by the way. Anyway, um, ooh. I know, I, as just, soon as I open that. Just waft that, wow. Okay, so we'll pour, pour a good bit here. Merry Christmas, and also, we oh, gotta, yeah. we gotta feed the beast. So, Anthony, Tony, since you are the guest, I'm gonna let you feed the beast today. Just fill up that one ounce jigger there. Perfect. And pour in. This is going to be such a cool little bottle once you guys are done. I hope it turns out well. Well, maybe we'll... Uh, nice full guy. There. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. We'll let that drain down for just a second. While we're letting that drain down, um, Tony would absolutely love it if you went down below over by him and hit that like and subscribe button and punch that notification bell. Become a watcher and support the channel. We're on our way to 500, and at 500, I will announce the bottle for the free bottle giveaway we're doing at 1,000. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be worth your time, I promise. It's not going to be like Jim Beam White Label. I promise. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I can just smell that whiskey. Yeah. Coming out of the glass, just jumping straight out of the glass. And so, as is tradition, let's, let's look at it for a second. The seven years has done this one right. I mean, it's just a beautiful little amber. Yeah, it's, it's not, a lighter color one. It's nothing like... It's super not super crazy. dark, but it's a beautiful amber, and it leaves a nice layer of oils on the glass. I love that. It I has, was actually kind of surprised about that. It has legs, and Jim Beam apparently, hopefully, knows how to use them. So, mm. ooh. Starting the afternoon off, waking the nose up here. Wow. I don't get the Beam nuttiness. I actually, I'm getting like a chocolatey. A chocolatey vibe. That seems to have been a theme with me though. The past couple of days, I've just been noticing these cocoa and chocolate notes. Yeah, there's been quite a few of them like that. It's definitely a smoother, kind of like a, I kind of get like a nice soft caramel. I can see that. Just Reminds a, me of opening like a little, little bag of Werther's almost. Ooh, like Granny's Werther's, like from her purse. Just yeah. pop one open. Love you, Grandma. <laughs> Rest in peace, Grandma. Anyway. Um, yeah, I can see that. It has a nice vanilla note to it. It has some kind of a florally note to it, too. Or that could just be the, co the cocoa. I'm not quite sure. All I know is my brain's just stuck on vanilla and caramel. I really, I really do enjoy this nose. Jim Beam, you did a good job on the nose, but how's it taste? Cheers. Not as good as Jake, but you know what? It'll suffice. I thought it was good. It'll suffice. Ooh. Now the beaminess comes through. Yeah. 
Definitely reminds me a lot, I mean, a better version of the white label. Yeah, this is much more refined. It's smooth. It's very palatable. The oiliness yeah. is really good on this. It, it is like surrounding my tongue on it. It coats the palate well. The finish is still going for a 90 proof whiskey. I still get everything on the palate. It coats the tongue well, the sides, the back. Yeah, it's lighter, it's inviting. It's not really gonna be something that'll scare a lot of people away. I think it's definitely a more approachable bourbon. Yeah, this is, it's bold, it's approachable. It's something that if you're just getting into whiskey and want to see where you stand on flavor profiles, this needs to be your go-to. Yeah, I mean, I especially think. for the price. It, it's super inviting just in the price alone. Yeah, and you know, Tony being a self-admitted cheapskate, he couldn't very turn much it. so. He couldn't turn it down. No, no, especially yeah, when I found it for the twenty one ninety nine, it's like, huh. I thought I was getting a deal at twenty four ninety nine, and yeah, made... it's worth that price too. Yeah. I mean, this has tasted better than some of the weird one off, like forty and fifty dollar bottles I bought. Yeah, I, I would say this probably, this probably shoots up to about. About yeah, about forty fifty dollars. Some of some bottles I've I've paid forty fifty dollars for. I'd prefer this too. Yeah. So, all in all, really well rounded, really straight. It, it's straightforward bourbon. It's yeah. quintessential bourbon. It's good to cut your teeth on. It's good to keep on your bar. Price point's great. Um, it's not going to be the craziest thing in the world, but it is a very I would consider as a not as refined palate. Very respectable bourbon. Nothing I never said my palate was blow you away, but it's <laughs> definitely a better bourbon. Yeah, I never said my palate is refined at all. Makes you keep wanting to go back to it too. Ultimately, we're just enthusiasts who love sharing our our love and our opinions on bourbons with the world via this wonderful platform. So, oh my, Tony's almost finished his whole glass. He might have to go back for more. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, a letter grade for this one, and ultimately, is it going to make it up on the on the shelf? Um, to me, I don't think this one's going to going to surpass the Jack Ten that's up there right now. But if we had a shelf for everyday pours and everyday bourbons, I think this one would sit up there for a while. Yeah, no, and you know, I love the little little notes on their their label here. Something special happens. A liquid turns a rich gold with notes of caramel, vanilla, and warm oak. I think they're pretty spot on with that little uh, tasting profile. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for a seven year 90 proof, that is a uh, very pleasant. It's solid. I'll uh, I'll give that a letter grade of a solid A. It's yeah. really good. Um, it's not anything, it's not the best I've ever had in my life. So so it can't hit that that A plus level, but as a, as a shelfer, as a $20 bottle, that's a solid A every day. Pick up as many as you can, put them yeah, on your bar. This could be an easy daily drinker, or especially if you got friends and family coming over. Yeah, definitely share this one with them. And uh, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button down there. Tony will have a little graphic in front of him to remind you. Um, hit that notification bell, and we thank all of you for joining us. And until we drink again, share a pour with your friends and family, because just like the movies, memories don't make themselves. Hey, he got it this time. I'm so proud of you. Cheers, buddy. I muted it. <laughs>